Hey everyone, so I got messages about um, the IGTV that I posted on Monday about letting go of those things that do not um, necessarily serve us in the most positive way. And um, I got lots of questions about how that can be practical um, and how to actually apply it. And um, I was thinking about how I did it in my life and how I continue to do it now. And one thing I've noticed is I've started to observe patterns in my mind. So for example, if during the day I am humming a tune, um, I will trace it back obviously to the song that I've been listening to the most. And so naturally when it comes to things like, let's say something like listening to music. So when we're listening to music, yes, it's fine. Like there may be lots of like ratchet songs that we like. There may be a lot of aggressive rap songs that we like, maybe a lot of music which um, doesn't necessarily bring about uplifting emotions. And sometimes it's difficult to stop listening because sometimes you want that. You're in the gym, you want to pump up the music, you want to really, really get into that like passionate mood um, when you're working out and that's fine. But what I had to learn was how to balance that. So let's say I listen to music for two hours a day. Then what I learned to do and what I've now started doing is, okay, if I'm listening to music two hours a day, let me make at least one hour of that. Let me at least portion out a section of that time for something that is like my mindful playlist, my mindful or meditation playlist, like calming music, something that I know is going to soothe me or nourish me in some way. And so... And then I'm singing those tunes and that's constantly staying in my mind rather than um, the songs that I don't necessarily want to be consistently thinking of. So um, that's one of the ways. The other thing I sometimes do is even when it comes to when you're watching TV or watching shows or watching movies, um, I remember when I am um, even now, if I've ended up watching things that are quite disturbing or I've heard about things on the news that are disturbing, which we also can't help sometimes. But if I was putting myself in that position like myself, like watching those movies, listening to those songs. I was finding even simple things like walking up the stairs to my meditation area when it's dark upstairs. It was bringing more fear to my heart on the days or on the weeks that I was watching more or allowing more things into my senses that brought fear to me. And so I really had to learn how to balance that out. Well, okay, fine. If I want to watch X amount of hours of something on TV or online, then really choosing to say, okay, one hour I spend watching everything. Maybe I should spend 15 minutes of that watching or listening to something that is um, going to have the opposite effect. And so at least it's somewhat balancing out. Ideally, we would want the balance in the other direction, but slowly trying to change that balance, slowly trying to change the proportions of our times we are spending doing those things makes a huge difference. And so it's really observing your patterns and then tracing it back to the activities that we do on a daily basis that could be causing those patterns in our mind. Um, and then another thing I do is making it really accessible on my phone. So let's say, for example, I'm so used to going on my Instagram and scrolling. So instead, now what I've done is I've put um, an app where I can read scriptures right next to my Instagram. So I know that whenever I look at it straight away, I'm seeing both and both are an option at that point in time. So I'm like, okay, am I going on there to post something useful? I'm going on there to look at something useful or am I going on there to waste time? Um, and is that time going to be utilized in the wrong way? And so a lot of the times now I do choose the scripture app and I'll just read something. It's something that I, I have an itch to want to do something. So why not nourish my mind with, with knowledge instead? Um, and yeah, so I think those are some of the practical ways that I've done. Obviously, there are lots of other situations, but these are the ones that come to mind for me that I've I've actively chosen and actively try to work on. Um, and yeah, it's just about getting the right balance for you and slowly, slowly tipping it like a seesaw, slowly tipping it one way or the other and seeing how it affects you. So um, I hope that was useful. Oh, the last thing I want to say, I literally was just listening to someone speak and he said spirit plus ritual equals spiritual. And so ritual without the spirit becomes habitual. It becomes something that we're doing mechanically. And so we really need heart and spirit in everything that we're doing for it to be sparked in the way that it should, for it to have the effect that it should in our hearts, because doing something mechanically is only going to have mechanical effects. Um, so it kind of relates, but kind of doesn't, but I thought it was really, really lovely and um, it really, um, it really uh, 
sparked a light bulb in my mind, so I thought it might help you too. Um, sending you all so much love. Hope that was useful. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'm also on, uh, we're all on this journey together and it feels so lovely to be able to discuss it um, and hear all your questions and sharing all your stories of how you deal with things too. So, um, lots of love.